Hello everybody, my name is Ender, and welcome to a new tutorial video on how to install the... <coughs> oh, excuse me, I have a little bit of a cough, so excuse that. So, I'm going to show you guys how to install the Borderlands 2 community patch. So, the community patch got updated recently, so where it doesn't work normally anymore of how you enable the console, so you need to do it through external means. You can't exactly enable the the Borderlands 2 console via in-game or through the files anymore, you have to use a different type of software. So what you want to do, go to your Google Chrome, and you want to go to this GitHub link, which is the Borderlands Hex Multi-Tool. This is going to be able for you to use, be able to use like a bunch of things, like you could get like max money through this, but you don't really, that's not what we're here for. What we're here for is the console command. So what we're going to do is you are going to download it uh, right here. We're going to click on this, download, and then that's going to open up a dot rar far, but I already have this installed. But make sure you also have dot uh, net framework on 4.5. Uh, so if you, you don't know what this is, it's like a Microsoft thing. You literally, it's literally right on Microsoft's website. You can just download it. I already have it downloaded, so it, it should be pretty easy to set up. So once you have uh, this downloaded, you want to open it up. Uh, I'm not sure if this works on Mac, uh, so you're gonna have to like test this out for yourself. Open up the hex multi edit tool. Uh, so then what you want to do is you want to set up your file paths. Uh, I'm not going to do the pre-sequel today. Pre-sequel is probably the same way you do it with Borderlands 2, but we're just doing Borderlands 2 today. So we're going to select path. Oh, whoops. Select path. You want to go to where your Borderlands 2 is saved. Uh, personally, I just like do, uh, OS, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, Borderlands 2. And then usually I just like search up here, EXE. And then I search up the Borderlands EXE per exe that has been modified modified recently so today i'd open this up and then hold up uh actually i might as well just do it right now so once you have this open up click on it click open and then it's just gonna load it up and then you don't really need to, need to worry about all these like what your level is what your backpack is like because i'm pretty sure if you mess this up it's gonna like fuck something up so then, what you want to do is enable your console command, and you can change this um, to whatever you want, like F6, tilde, whatever. I personally like it on F6. So then, you want to do apply, and no changes about it because I already have it enabled. And there you go. That's step one on how to do the community patch. Step two is installing the community patch. So what you want to do, in order to, up to download the community patch, you want to go to this GitHub link here. Click on this. Click download. That's going to bring you to this. So you want to do, right click, save as. And then what you want to do is you want to go back to your OS folder. Program files. Uh, Steam. Steam apps. Come in. Borderlands 2. And then you want to find your binaries folder. Click on that and open it. And then this is where all your mods are going to go all that shit, and then you want to just save your patch.txt patch right here, but since I already have it installed, I don't need to worry about that. So that's uh, how to install the patch, and to, uh, however, that's not where, but that's not else I'm going to show you today. I'm also going to show you, just checking to see if it's still recording, the Borderlands mod loader. So I'm going to post this direct Dropbox link, for the Borderlands mod loader uh, in the description of the video. It's also for Mac or Linux, too, uh, this this mod loader. Cause you, so basically, I think you can also have the community patch as well with Mac and Linux. I don't know how to do it personally because I, I don't have a Linux or a Mac, so I don't know how this works, so you have to figure that out for yourself. I can't make a video on it because I don't have a Mac. I only have a Windows, so I'll just leave this link in the description. If you want to click on Windows, and you want to download this folder, Download, direct download, and this is going to open up the mod loader. And then once it's done installing, I'll show you. See what I want to do? So I just usually just click show in folder, and then I usually just open up a mods folder. This is not the right one. Fuck. <laughs> My bad. So, uh, desktop, OS, or whatever your thing is, and just go all the way back to your Steam apps, Borderlands 2, binaries, and then uh, you just drop your Borderlands mod loader launcher in here. 
So then what you could do, you can launch it up in your binaries folder. And then once that happens, you're going to bring up this type of menu. Or actually, it will actually not appear up anything. So you want to click on File, Open. And then you want to uh, click on Open BL2 Binaries Directory. And then you want to click on Patch.txt. And then click Open. And then this will open up the patch. And then basically you can do up your, like your optional stuff. Like you can click on here. Like you can put on gear replacements. Like you can say like, oh, I don't want the cradle buff. I just want to replace it with the knot, which is, you should do that. Because even with the buff with the cradle, it, it's still shit. Like with the tidal wave, place it with the flare. Place the emperor with the torrent. Like again, you could also have nerfs. Like nerfs to Salvador. Like nerfs to Axton. So. Um, and also, if you want to have, uh, so, uh, how mods worked before, so, basically, what you have to do is you had to, like, make it so, where you had to enable each mod via the console, but you don't have to do that anymore. So, if you want to put, like, so, if you want to have all your mods, like, activated with just, like, like that, when you activate the community patch, you could do that. So, you click on File, Import Mod Files, and then any mod you save, I personally like just keeping, like, all my mods in here, so it's just easier. Like, uh, let's say I want to install the, the, uh, I'm just trying to find a mod I don't have here yet. Like, these Saturn, uh, crit spots. I want to click on that, click open, and make sure it's enabled and everything. Boom. And then all your stuff, all your skins, all your mods will be enabled right here. So you want to click save. And then that's done. And then just to prove that it works, oh, my bad, I accidentally opened up my Discord. So we're going to go here, and we're just going to close this, we're about Borderlands 2, and just prove that it works. Uh, also, Community Patch updated to 4.2, so I believe that there are some new changes, but I do not know the new changes. Also, to prove that my mods also will work. I have to screw overlay in game. God damn it. Does anyone want to do? I press F6. Boom. Exec patch.txt. And then there we go. Uh, I'm just, I was just farming earlier. And then, as you can see, the community patch is working as the bear cat is given a new skin and is given new buffs, uh, as well as the my other mods too. As you can tell, my B mod that makes the B into like an actual have an actual skin. It looks really nice. My Varuk skin, uh, a bunch of other mods also activated too. Like again, more skins, different skins, like community patch. You can tell is working because the new skill changes like. Uh, like duty calls, increase the gun damage and critical damage of non-elemental guns instead of just the gun damage for assault rifles. And that's it. And also this replaces crisis management. Like crisis management is now over here. So yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. And uh, I'm happy to say that the community patch does work now. So I hope this helps out people. I don't know how this works for Mac. If anyone else can figure it out, I would happily place it in the comments below and I'll pin it so then it can help other people who want to play this mod as well. Also, again, the Bearcat does not consume ammo, which is really nice. So thank you all for watching. I hope this helped out you. I'll try my best in the comments below to help you out. Um, however, I'm not a tech whiz. I'm just making this tutorial to see if people, if people got confused on how to do it. So thank you all for watching. See you all next time. Thank you.